Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, I will show you how to change the look of the cells and value fields of the pivot table easily using a built in cell template and conditional formatting properties. Look at this example, where you can see the pivot table cells customized with profit, neutral, and loss icons based on the measured data. Green and pink background colors were applied to the cells by setting conditions for measure values. Now I will show how to achieve this customization at code level. First, I open an existing view application that has a view pivot table with a list of data retrieved from a local data source. If you want to know how to get started with the view pivot table component, refer to the video linked in the card above. I will run this application using the npm run dev command and show the initial output. You will see the pivot table rendered with the defined data source. Next, I want to display pivot table cells with different icons based on different conditions. I will also show you how to customize the cells using the cell template property. As a first step, I import the create app built-in method from view to declare templates. Then I declare a variable named app and assign the create app method. Next, I define a Vue.js component named cell template. with an empty data object used for storing the component's state. Within the methods, I define the getCellContent method. This parameter holds information about the current cell. Next, declare a variable named template. And check if the current cell information is not null and belongs to the value axis. If so, I will check if the cell value is less than 1000. If it is, I need to display the loss icon in the cell. So, to this template variable, I assign a division element and add the class icon loss. This class will contain the required styles for displaying the loss icon. Similarly, I add two more conditions to check if the cell value is between 1000 and 5000, and greater than 5000, and set the neutral icon and profit icon to the template respectively. In the else condition, I return the empty template. Lastly, I return the template. To display value cells with profit, loss, or neutral icons, I need to add a division element. So, I will check if the content returned by the getCellContent method is not null. If so, add a division element and assign the content returned by that method. Next, I define the cell template function. And return the template view to the component. I add the cell template to the component using the cell template property. Finally, I define the icon loss, icon profit, and icon neutral CSS classes inside the style tag and define the required CSS styles like display, border, and margin. Check now, the pivot table values are rendered with defined icons. It displays the profit icon for the values greater than 5000 the neutral icon for the values greater than 1000 and less than 5000, and the loss icons for values lesser than 1000. Next, I will show you how to change the appearance of the pivot table cells. I'll apply conditional formatting during runtime by invoking the toolbar. So, let me import the toolbar module from the Syncfusion EJ2 View Pivot View package and include it in the Provide section. Then, I define a variable show toolbar and set its value to true. I assign this variable to the component using the show toolbar property.
Next, I need to add the conditional formatting toolbar item to the toolbar. So, I import the conditional formatting module from the Syncfusion EJ2 view pivot view package and include it in the provide section. I set the variable allow conditional formatting to true. and assign it to the component using the allow conditional formatting property. Now, the conditional formatting is enabled in the pivot table and I can add it to the toolbar. To do that, I define an array list toolbar and add conditional formatting to it. Finally, I assign this toolbar list to the component using the toolbar property. You can see the pivot table contains the conditional formatting toolbar option at the top left corner. When I click this option, the dialog opens. Here, I can set a number of conditions to format cells. Now, I will add a condition by clicking the Add Condition button, which allows me to customize cells based on the measure values, operators, and values. I set the measure value to units sold, the condition to less than and the value to 100. I set the cell text color to red and background color to yellow and then click apply. The quantity values less than 100 are now in red with a yellow background. To apply conditional formatting programmatically, I add the conditional format settings property which accepts n number of conditional format settings within it. I am going to set conditional formatting to measure the sold amount field, so I'll set the measure property to amount value to 3000 and condition to less than using the conditions property because I am going to apply formatting for the cells where the sold amount is lesser than 3000. As I said before, I am going to customize the font and background for the cell. So let me define the style attribute and add the properties, background color, font family, and font size with appropriate values. And now you can see, the sold amount less than 3000 are formatted with the defined styles. If I want to apply this conditional formatting to all the value fields, I remove the measure property from the conditional format settings so that conditional formatting is applied to both the measure fields. As you can see, if the sold amount and quantity values are less than 3000, appropriate colors are applied. In this video, I have shown you how to customize the appearance of view pivot table cells using a cell template and apply conditional formatting to a specific value field programmatically as well as to all the value fields. If you would like to see this working example, you can download it from the GitHub link shared in the description below. I have also provided a link where you can see if you qualify for a free license key to use our VIEW products through our community license. If you found this video useful, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.